All right, let's do some preparing LEDs. Okay, what we want to make is this guy right here. Here's a little three millimeter LED that we're going to use as the headlight on. This is one of those Amtraks that have melted down. And we got the new decoder in. And now what we want to do, see there's a decoder set up. We want to do, I want a, a headlight and I want a rear light. Um, I wanted a beacon too, but according to the prototype, it doesn't have one. And that would mean getting the cab interior out, which might not be such a great idea on this one. But prototype doesn't, doesn't show one. So what we ought to do is we want to put one here so we can light up this block. This would be a good spot for fiber optics, but because of the cab, there's not enough room to put the fiber optics and the, and the heat shrink and then clear this block. So we're gonna do this. This will work great. It'll, it'll be awesome. Okay, and we wanna do one on the rear. The rear one's easy. The rear one, I was thinking, oh, let's do fiber optics until I looked at this piece in here. And it illuminates a whole bunch of stuff. So we need to illuminate that. And there's a spot in there where we can put one in. So this will be really easy. But it's been a while since we've showed how to set up an LED. So I got my LED here. Okay. And inside of it is, see the spade on the left there? The spade, that is the minus. I always call it, that's the outside with the short leg. That means out come in the long side, go through the LED, and then go out the short side. Let's flip this around here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my help and hands here. I'm going to clamp it in there. Now, I'm going to take, this one's going to be rear, and the color code for rear is yellow on the negative, and green, or blue on the positive. I, can't put any more blue wire. So I'm just I'm gonna use a green. Okay. Or did I do that wrong on this one? The white is the in and the green is the out. Yeah, I did this one kind of backwards if I want to follow color codes. Alright, it'll still work. Okay, so what I want to do now. So I'm going to take my little clippers here, and I'm going to clip the negative one. I'm going to clip it pretty short, just beyond that little spot where it looks like you can bend them. I'm going to clip it just like that. Now, I save these. These make good windshield wipers. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of rosin flux. Then I'm going to take this 1 watt 1K. I know you don't need one this big, but this one never fails me, so that's why I'm putting it on there. This this one is a great resistor, and I've never had problems with it. It always comes through. That's what I'm saying. That guy. Okay, I'm going to get get the uh, other wire on first now, and I'm going to clip him also really short. So he should be the common which is the plus which will be this green guy okay now to get this guy ready here I'm gonna put on the very tip of him I'm gonna put some rosin flux then I'm gonna take my solder here get a glob of solder here and I'm gonna touch him he's gonna start to melt back and I'm gonna pull it okay if I did it right I got it. now I'm gonna Hit them. There we go. Then put some rosin flux right here. And I'm going to go ahead and hook them up. There. Okay, now I want a tiny piece of heat shrink on it. Even though it's never going to touch the other side, I'm just going to put one on there because it makes it look nice and neat. I just need a little tiny piece. About like that. Let's go ahead and thread them. All right. And let's shrink them.
Okay, he's shrinking up nicely. All right, good to go. Now let's take a little bit on this resistor, like that. A little bit of solder. Put him on there. Nice and close. Sometimes I put them down the wire farther, but for in this case, I'm going to put them right next to it, right on it. There we go. Okay, now that guy's set. All we got to do is add the yellow wire. So we're going to put it right here. So in, in DCC, it's kind of hard. Oh, I did it wrong too, didn't I? Yes, I did. We didn't even talk about that. I put it on backwards. All right, remember what I said? This is the outside. Okay, so that means if you're going out, you got to go out through the resistor. And the gold stripe is the outside. So I got to put this guy on with the gold stripe away. Some people put them on before. Some people put them on. I, I've been putting them on after. With the gold stripe away. Okay, then I can go ahead and do the same thing with this yellow wire. I can take a little uh, touch them. Okay, I think that song on the washing machine is entirely too long. It does not need to be that long. Here we go. Now it's coming. Yep, a little more. Whoops. Okay. A little flux here. There we have it. Now let's put a little piece of heat shrink on him. things that if you don't know what to do some days just make some LEDs while you're trying to figure it out make some and put them in your electronic storage box because they will get used up fast now it is nice and neat looking okay now it's nice and neat looking. We just got to remember this one backwards. So when I connect this, okay, the common, which should be blue, will go here. And then the other one will go there at the number two. On the front, the common is going to be the, the white and the one is going to be the green. That is backwards. It should be blue and white. And we're going to be white and green. Actually, I'm going to take a Sharpie that's blue. And I'm going to mark that one. I'm going to mark the white one so that it's blue. There. That'll help prevent the confusion. And that's it. We got two sweet LEDs ready to go for headlights. Then we can wrap this guy up. 